I read somewhere said that Spirit of the Beehive is so obtuse. It's music for people who like the idea of listening to music, but have never actually listened to music. Spirit of the Beehive. It's, it's all up to interpretation. Um, I think it's just vague enough that it can induce anxiety or whatever the feeling of the actual song is without um, making someone think this, oh, this happened to someone else. You can be like, this can happen to me. That's the basic idea. I would hope, especially for anxiety. I'd love to give people anxiety because I don't want to be the only one that has it. So it's better you if want to share it. have it too. I don't have like a story typically that I'm ever trying to tell. With lyrics, everything is all stream of consciousness, which I think is like pretty, I don't know, a pretty normal thing to do. Whatever narrative is there is kind of revealed to me after. I did make up an answer for an interview once where I said that it was kind of a story of me driving to a club with a gas leak in my car. I don't know. That seems like that seems like a dream I've had. <laughs> that one started with the sample before the song was even written. I just do like random YouTube deep dives all the time and just find stuff that has at least less than like 3,000 plays. And try to make it work. But I was like, that I'm gonna that'll be the first thing that you hear. And then wrote the song around that. Florida was good but sparse. Um, weren't very many house shows, which once you moved to Philly, there's house shows everywhere, so that was a nice change of pace. 
really heavy, sludgy, kind of murky music comes from at least my area. Mm -hmm. Everything was a lot brighter here, it seemed like. I just came from going to the punk, like punk shows in my hometown. Um, Zach is from Miami and I'm from central Florida. So we only had house shows and it was just kind of all like nasty little punk shows. And that, yeah, I didn't make music. I didn't start playing bass until I started in this band. It's probably the most straightforward song on the record. Um, poppy, try to go with an old Beatles vibe with the drums and the bass kind of panned far in certain parts and stuff. Mostly wrote that song about a bad acid trip I had once where everything, everything was just going wrong. And I remember I put my hand into my pocket and I felt my hand go whoop all the way down to my toes and I was like, that's not how, this is bad. I'm officially having a bad time. Originally, it's, it was four different songs that were much longer in their own portions. We kind of narrowed it down, picked the best parts of these different songs, changed them a bit to make it like our, if we wanted to make like a day in the life kind of track. Um, again, lyrically, we didn't, everyone kind of wrote their part and then looked at the whole picture and was like, well, don't even have to really discuss this, this kind of works. To go off of like the, the lyrical stuff, I feel like, yeah, we, we definitely didn't discuss any sort of narrative for the song. Um, we all wrote lyrics for like each of the parts, or I mean for individual parts, we kind of each have our like own sections. And I feel like it ended up with like a loose narrative, even if we didn't intend it, which can mean a few different things to different people, hopefully. I feel like that happens a lot, where we'll just write our own separate parts and then somehow it'll become 
some kind of form of a narrative. But this is typically a band where even like during the mixing process, you're still kind of writing a song. So never really know what it sounds like until it's 100% done. And that can take weeks and months and years. The production was intense. Um, it's a long song, obviously. Every part is mixed differently. My computer at the time wasn't even good enough to hold the entire song in the same file, so everything had to be mixed, bounced, put back in. It was, yeah, it was rough. In the same way that it was written as multiple songs, it was basically recorded as like separate parts. Like we couldn't do, we had to just make the individual blocks and then kind of transition them together, right. slam it all together.
Uh, I don't want people to be confused when they listen to it, but uh, I, I would. Uh, I'm happy to be a record band. Band, you have to listen to the whole record. Not a singles band. I don't think we have very many hits, you know? So if you could listen to the whole record, then I appreciate you. It's difficult to listen to the whole of anything, honestly.